guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making some homemade cinnamon rolls and cream cheese icing. Stay tuned. On to the dough, we're gonna start with three quarters of a cup of warm milk, a tablespoon of sugar, two and a quarter teaspoon of dry yeast or one packet, and we're gonna give that a stir and let that get working. And then I mix together the dry ingredients with a whisk. We've got two cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, and a quarter cup of sugar. And once all that comes together, we're gonna add in one egg. We're gonna add our milk and three tablespoons of melted butter. And we just make sure that everything's well incorporated here. It, you know, looks like a dough and stuff. And then I move it to a greased bowl and cover it with plastic wrap. Yeah, something like that for an hour or so and just let it double in size. Okay, it's been an hour or so. So we've got a floured countertop here. We're gonna gently roll this out to a quarter inch or so maybe a little thinner and you know rectangly shapes so that it's easy to roll relatively square when we make our cinnamon rolls and I've got three tablespoons of melted butter, a quarter cup of sugar, and a teaspoon or so of cinnamon here. Just gonna mix this up and brush it on the dough. If you have to skimp on an area on this, make sure that it's the area away from you because as you're rolling, it's going to squish that filling out. So as long as you get it really good at the end that you start rolling, it'll kind of cover itself on the way out but anyway this is kind of messy but it's delicious so just stay with me now to cut these you can get a measuring tape if you want and it's going to depend on how tall you want these but i just cut the whole thing in half and then each half in half and then each half half in thirds math so anyway, the ones on the ends are gonna be ugly unless you're just perfect at rolling stuff, but they still taste good. So if you're giving them away, maybe keep those back for yourself. And I'm moving them to a grease sheet, gonna cover them and stick them in the fridge uh, for at least 12 hours up to 48 and just let these cold proof before we bake them. And here we are about 20 hours later. They've just about doubled in size. We're gonna pop them into a 400 degree oven for around 25 minutes. Just keep an eye on them, make sure they don't get away from you. Now, if you don't have powdered sugar, that's quite all right because you can just use a blender like this and take regular granular sugar and make powdered sugar just like this. So we're gonna take about a half a cup of this powdered sugar, one pack of softened cream cheese, and one teaspoon of vanilla, and just take a hand beater here and make some cream cheese icing. And uh, you know, just slowly add this powdered sugar or you're gonna make a mess because it's gonna go and then, you know, be powdered sugar everywhere. But anyway, it's nothing complicated. Just do it to all the sugars incorporated and it's nice and smooth and delicious and i like to spread this icing on right out of the oven so it kind of helps it melt and get down into the crevices and because i'm a monster and i do things like that but anyway these things are awesome i've heard nothing but good reports on them because they're awesome you should try them if you do take a picture somewhere find me on the internet and say hey i made these also, like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, 1,000 subscribers? Are we there yet? I'm recording this and I'm three away currently, but I'm just assuming by the time this goes up, I'll be there. So, thank you, and you, and you, etc., etc.